गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू एम टेबल यस पार्क या सो वेरी गुड एंड डियर फ्रेंड्स आई टुडे टॉपिक इज टाइट्स हियर आई वांट टू टेल अबाउट टाइट्स एंड जस्ट शेयर दैट ऑफ टाइट uh means due to gravity the moon tries to pull everything on the earth closer to it the earth on the uh, surface of the earth is always moving as we know about it and uh, the moon pulls water from seas and ocean towards its due to gravitational pull this is called tide and uh, when the moon's pull acts on the earth the water of the sea on the side of the earth facing the moon is attracted upwards this causes uh, a high tide and uh, the water of the sea uh, on the sides of the earth facing away from the moon rises towards the sides facing on the moon and uh, this is cause of low tide and uh, every high tide is followed by a low tide and the highest tides occurs at the time of new moon and the full moon and tides uh, are usually to ships when there is a high tide so ships can some easily to a port the knowledge of the tides is also important for fishermen when they go out to catch fish in the sea so in a low tide they cannot bring back their boats to the shore because of the sea water goes for away from the shore thank you so much i will not comment uh, too much it was a good uh, uh, flow flow was also good so who uh, yes sir yes sir yes sir uh, this topic is too much uh, short so here i don't have any topic so then i told that uh, about tides and what is tides and what is the benefits and that's all thank you okay but no issue no issue but no issue uh, who will be next speaker sir i can ashish krishna yes sir okay krishna go ahead good evening everyone today's my news about science national day national science day you might be as that 28 feb is celebrated as national science day in india but do you know what and why the day is celebrated as national science day i am also such you might have heard about clear indian science sir Chandrakant was the Rama on this day. He is in 1982. He discovered a phonon of of scanning of phones, which was later known as Rama effect. After this name, after two years in 1930. the got, they got nobel prize of the man mark discover discover and this way the first nobel prize from from india in the first science first field of science to mark the discover of this form form national india on this day in 18 uh, in 1986 the national council council of science and technology consist ncst c as the government of india to discover 28th fifth as national science day which that they got of an india accepted and delegated that india Uh, the day national science day is 1986 that first final national science day was celebrated on 
1987. Thank you, sir. नेशनल साइंस डे वी सेलिब्रेट ऑन ट्वेंटी एंड इन द मेमरी ऑफ डॉक्टर सी वी रामन सी वी रामन was invented raman's effect and all over the world it was a very famous uh, discovery and because of that the government of india also honored him with uh, india's uh, highest civilian award that is bharat ratna and also he got uh, honored with nobel prize so 28 february we celebrated national science day and also on that day we also celebrate one more day which one is that any one 28 february cv raman's birth anniversary yes uh, it is there and national okay i will tell you on the latter part of our session so who will the next speaker sir <coughs> minan who is there sir samiksha okay samiksha samiksha uh, you are in which standard sir i am in 9th standard okay in which school ujwala tai pawar in sadara okay 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 go ahead samiksha Good evening, everyone. My today's topic is on telescope. The fo- uh, founder of telescope is Galileo. Uh, I am. T- uh, I would like to tell you about uh, optical telescope. Most optical telescope are made to uh, to collect the maximum uh, maximum amount of light coming from the heavenly bodies objects. The objective lens should be made as larger as possible. Light rays change their direction as they enter a lens from the atmosphere. This is called refraction, uh, and such telescopes are called a refracting telescope. The image formed by lenses have errors of colors. This is called chromatic aberration. To overcome these difficulties, telescopes are made using concave mirror. Uh, there are uh, types of uh, refracting telescope. That is, uh, first is Newtonian telescope, and second is Cassegrain telescope. the telescope uh, telescope device uh, device used to form magni- uh, magnified image of a uh, distant object this telescope is undoubtedly the most important investigative tool in astronomy it provides a means of collecting and analyzing radiation from uh, celestial objects even those in the far reaches of the un- universe The telescope consists of an optical system, the lenses and our mirrors, and hardware components to hold the optical system in place and allow to allow to move, be, and focus. There are three main types of telescope. The uh, these are refract. First is refracting telescope. Second is Newtonian telescope, and third is Cassegrain telescope. The easy uh, the definition of telescope in easy language is that a a uh, Uh, usually tubular optical instrument for viewing distant object by means of the refraction of light rays through the lens or the reflection of refraction of light rays by a concave mirror compare uh, reflector any of uh, various tubular magnifying of ob- Uh, optical instrument in india we have several telescope with concave mirror of 2 meter diameter that have been in use for many years the biggest optical telescope in india having a mirror of 3.6 meter diameter is situated at aryabhatta research aryabhatta research institute of uh, experimental science in nainital this is the largest optical telescope in india uh, thank you sir okay 
గుడ్ సమీక్ష వెరీ ఇన్ఫర్మేటివ్ లెక్చర్ ఎట్ ఎస్ గాయత్రి ఆఫ్టర్ ఆఫ్టర్ సమీక్ష యూ విల్ బి ది నెక్స్ట్ సారీ సమీక్ష ఐ వాస్ టెలింగ్ ఇట్ వాస్ అ వెరీ ఇన్ఫర్మేటివ్ లెక్చర్ ఎట్ అండ్ ఆల్సో Uh, one who is very much interested in astronomy so he should be knows about what is telescope so first of all uh, galileo galilei was invented telescope and it was the one of the biggest invention at the at that time because without it we cannot see the we cannot enjoy enjoy the celestial world we cannot enjoy the uh, astronomy isn't it yes sir correct okay so very good uh, it was uh, very you covered it th- uh, thoroughly and uh, very good uh, informative uh, lecture you gave too much information about telescope what are the uses what are the types how we can use it okay okay gayatri you want to continue yes sir okay good. then go ahead hello friends good evening and sir and ma'am my topic is holi the festival of holi mass in the beginning of the spring every year and the end to youth of people it is a celebrated by who believe to its hindu in hindu but the festival of the enjoyed across the country in perspective of the reasons believe Holi is the based on the cycles of the moon at it celebrated the struggle of goodness of love you need to enjoy the celebration of colors people i wished is other houses of the grandeur in public festival is celebrated for 3 day starting with the rituals of the holika holi and the final day of the holi celebration thank you sir okay gayatri no issue holi um, one of the uh, biggest and uh, most enjoyable festival which is celebrated uh, all over the india and uh, also that it has a uh, very much importance of the uh, epic uh, epics of india so uh, good gayatri it was good lecture at who will be the next speaker dilip who is dilip okay ashish yes sir uh today is your first day no sir this is my fifth session okay okay ashish i will start my class sir uh, sorry sir i can speak uh, yes ashish yes. go ahead good everyone good evening to everyone today's my new word is beach, beach meaning in english is violation violation meaning in hindi is violation meaning in hindi is sanshodhan badha dalna and today's my new topic is hacking hacker a hacker is a person skilled in information technology and information technology and and they use and who is used their technical knowledge to goal to achieve their goal and to achieve their to achieve their goal and and overcome overcome maljesi and and hacker is a person who have a bachelor degree such as bsc btech be bca and 
in information technology technology and computer science and there are three types of hacker black white black hat hackers white hat hackers and gray hat hackers black hat hackers are the bad hackers that who who break computer signals and to achieve malicious at malicious intent and white hat hacker is a good hacker that they work in that they work in government sectors like cbi or cbi and army police and other government sectors and also in private sectors gray hat hackers are the hackers that they they not have a job but they have they do good work because they save from people from black hat hackers and there are many types of advantages and disadvantages of hacking like that hacking is hacking is, advantage of hacking is to require in, to require information for if we forgot our password we require our information to help of hacking and there are many types of many disadvantage of hacking like that privacy violation and privacy violation and privacy violation and and many types of disadvantage and human hacking have a um, hacking have a cyber crime like that cyber crime or computer crime that have a cyber crime or um, computer computer crime that they use computer as in as in they use the computer as an instrument and they use computer as an instrument and use the bad effect on public and pangnu pangnu is a chinese team that they have pangnu is a chinese team they have iphone 13 pro max in just one second thank you my topic is over okay ashish very good you gave a lot of data uh, good information uh, just i want to ask you what is the uh, what we can say what what is the oil of 21st century sir what you ask me i just asked what is the oil of 21st century means uh, uh, let me explain wait uh, data is the oil of 21st century means once upon a yes sir this data is very much uh, important for the world and Yes, and because of that, means whole world was eager to earn it. And right now, data is the most precious uh, thing for whole world. And in hacking, what we hack data, isn't yes. it? Data from many government offi offic uh, offices, data from many uh, renowned persons, and uh, one uh, important. Thing you miss that uh, Pegasus. Have you aware of that Pegasus? No, sir. I don't understand the address. Okay, okay. I will explain. Don't worry. Uh, Pegasus is the uh, what we can say. It was a software, or it was a uh, we can say a, a malware one which was uh, inducted in our mobile phones. and our mobile phones is getting uh, hacked it was originated yes, yes it was originated from israel and there is a huge controversy is going on in india over the pegasus software okay sir not only in india but also many of the countries are uh, many of the countries are uh, controversing on this issue because it was a very big issue at international level talking about uh, hacking yes sir 
so uh, cyber espionage is also one term in which uh, many hackers hack the data from government officials means they hack top government uh, bureaucrats politicians and many uh, cabinet ministers yes sir yes and another part is that cloning of atm cards many a times we uh, get a call that uh, sir or ma'am please tell a otp uh, which you have uh, which uh, we have sent to uh, your mobile and we uh, we just tell to uh, and the otp to them and our uh, uh, bank account is getting hacked isn't it yes sir so be uh, aware be careful while uh, while we um, do the uh, transactions online transactions whenever we uh, go to atm so just be careful uh, to uh, while uh, uh, swiping our atm cards isn't it yes okay good ashish uh, you gave a lot of data so who will be the next speaker bhaiya may i sunali sir i am tanishka okay tanishka okay, okay go ahead after Goody. that uh, naman will be the next speaker okay bhaiya okay good go ahead yes sir good evening friends so today is my topic is climate change information on global warming climate change refers to long term shifts in temperature and weather patterns these shifts may be natural but since the 1800 humans activities have been the main driver of climate change the prime prima primarily due to the to the burning of fossil fuels like coal oil and gas which produces heat trapping gases what is global warming since the industrial revolution the global global annual temperature has increased in total by a little more than 1 degree celsius or about 2 degrees fahrenheit between 80 1880 the year that accurate record keeping began and 1980 it rose on average by 0.07 degrees celsius 0.13 degrees fahrenheit every 10 years since 1989 81 however the rate of increase has more than doubled for the last 40 years we have seen the global annual temperature rise by 0.118 degrees celsius or 0.32 degrees fahrenheit per decade what causes global warming global warming occurs when carbon dioxide and other air pollutants collect in atmosphere absorb sunlight and solar radiation that have bounds of the earth surface normally this radiation would escape escape into space but this pol- pollutants which can last for years to centuries in atmosphere trap the heat and causes the planet to get hotter these heat trapping pollutants especially carbon dioxide methane nitrous oxide water vapor and synthetic flu- fluorinated gases are known as greenhouse gases and their impact is called the greenhouse effect thank you sir okay anishka climate change uh, the 
hot topic to be discussed at a international level uh, you gave also lot of information what are the causes what are the effects uh, just read about uh, much much more so when this earth is heritable isn't it so we have to surpass this earth to our next generation one day as it is without changing but we human beings we are developing so rapidly and ultimately the environment is the uh, sufferer of our development isn't it so this should not be happen because sustainable development should be there there should not be any harm to our environment because it is god gifted we have not cre created our environment and we cannot do it in any uh, in any laboratory of the world so this precious gift we have to protect it we have to surpass surpass this to our next generation so what individually we can do there are many things we can do to protect our climate to protect our surroundings to protect our natural natural flora and fauna we can plant a small tree and not only planting a tree we have to conserve it we have to take care of it and from uh, from its childhood to adulthood we have to take care of that tree so it will uh, it will be helpful to uh, everybody climate change is the uh, very hot topic today because everybody every country is speaking about that but no no country is uh, getting a proper uh, uh, precautionary measures to mitigate the climate change every country has set up many goals in last year there was a, a conference of parties 26 which was uh, held in glasgow in that uh, conference many countries uh, set uh, many goals india 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 was also there prime minister modi was also there but it is uh, challenging to uh, achieve that goals isn't it yes sir bhaiya may i speak now uh, okay naman okay go ahead okay yeah. Uh, so very very good evening to all the gentlemen who are present here and who are listening me. So uh, as well as daily activity, my today's word is impeachment. Impeachment का मतलब होता है महाभियोग करना. Okay. So yeah, and today's my lecture topic is the president of India. So whenever we have want to talk about a president, it comes uh, according to our Indian constitutions. It uh, it's come in Article uh, Article fifty two. Yeah. So, what is the thing uh, it does in a president? It means what is the responsibility of the president towards uh, any types of a country who's are belonging to, uh, to that thing? Yeah. So, our president, whenever we want to talk about our country, the president of uh, India has all the powers which is uh, related to uh, the legislature, the executive, and the judiciary. And yeah, uh, the tenure of the president is five year, and now uh, we know we are aware of this thing that. Uh, Uh, Ramnath Kovind is the present president of a country, and uh, Rajendra Prasad is the first. So, what is the eligibility? It means uh, our constitutions will be realized. This thing that which types of a uh, things must uh, any candidate any candidate who is uh, going for a uh, president. So he is uh, firstly he is a citizen of our country, and uh, he will be uh, above the age of a thirty five, and uh, he have also nominated uh, in the Rajya Sabha. and he is also it means he has not any types of a uh, offense in his in her in his past time he has not do any types of a uh, some such a criminal cases and uh, he he also could not afford any types of a government job okay so now it is the thing about the president and now it is time to talk about the what is the power it means what is the power that our uh, any types of a president would be have so first is i would want to tell the executive power 
okay it means all the things uh, as like the executive part the legislative power the diplomatic power the emergency power so these all the things are vested in the uh, president so first of all i would want to tell about a executive uh, part so it means any types of a thing the work of a executive to implement the law against any types of a country so these all the things are coming under the president and he he will also appoint the governor general it will sorry governor of an any state the prime minister and he will also uh, take the oath to the uh, it means the judge uh, it means who is the supreme court of a supreme court chief justice of a supreme court and he also nominates some of the members who is related to the upsc and he also appointed the attorney general of a country okay so these are the things uh, which uh, presidents have now we have want to talk about the legislative uh, it means legislative powers okay so in a legislative powers uh, uh, president have all the things it means he will also nominate uh, 12 members regarding to raj sabha and we have know about it that there are 250 seats are available in that in that thing and 12 members who are specialized it means they are uh, extraordinary accomplices accomplishments in the art in the science in the like, literature in social services okay and whenever we want to talk about the lok sabha he he will also nominate two of the uh, two of the speakers sorry two of the members so they are anglo indians the, the means of anglo indian is means they are related to a foreign and now we have uh, we, it means there is also a bill okay so the as we know about it that any types of a proposal who will become in the parliament so first of all the raj sabha and lok sabha will be uh, allow that thing to go uh, towards the president so it is the responsibility of a uh, president that he will be assent that thing or withhold with his points so these are the things regarding to president about the legislative power and now we have want to talk about emergency power okay so uh, first of all we know that uh, for emergency it means uh, any types of a thing uh, which is uh, in a way some crisis crisis state so they are called a emergency power and our president have these types of a thing as like uh, whenever any types of a war any types of a Uh, such a uh, army rebellion so these types of a uh, things uh, will be g- go towards the president so it means uh, what is the emergency power okay so first of all for doing the emergency power in our country uh, our cabinet ministers will be uh, write a one one file or a document which is uh, which is then approved by the parliament and so uh, the declare or the proclamations of the emergency power uh, by the president and uh, whenever we have want to talk about the uh, emergency power in the state so in a state when any state and do not the work regarding to the constitutional thing so our president will be do their rule and whenever we have want to talk about a uh, such a financial power okay of a president so in a financial power what is the thing as like we have uh, passed the bill okay but there is some constituency fund which is uh, Uh, do in between so our president will have uh, such types of a uh, power to realize these types of a thing and now the thing about a uh, military it means military power our president have also military power it means he will be nominate uh, the all the uh, highest rank of officers in the navy in the air force and in army and uh, now uh, to there's a time limitation so for uh, i have want to tell that the removal of a president okay the removal of a president is called a impeachment and now uh, these are the things that i have known and i will be tell you okay jai hind jai bharat okay good naman um, lot of information you have gave about the president um, president is the most powerful constitution um, constitutional post in india he is the supreme commander of indian armed forces and uh, he has many powers like you have said executive financial military emergency legislative powers a n number of powers has been given to uh, sorry president of india and the dr rajendra prasad was the first president of india uh, i just want to uh, correct you in one sense that uh, it was a contingency fund yes it? sir yes. yeah i know about it. Yes. Okay. Just uh, take care of this thing. Uh, okay. Otherwise, it was it was a good lecture. It you gave uh, means a uh, lot of information about president. And uh, I just want to tell you guys that uh, 
as we always say that india is a secular country isn't it yeah yes sir yes. it is and and time yes, to sir. time we have and time to time we have proven it by uh, appointing the uh, uh, president from various caste like uh, the current president uh, shri ramnath kovind is dalit president after K, after k r narayan he is the second dalit president of india and also there was a like uh, dr apj abdul kalam isn't it yes sir so so whenever we appoint a president we never see their caste so it is a very proud thing for us that every person every uh, man from uh, man of india he can become a president so there is no no cap no bar to become a president of india to become a uh, higher to become a supreme commander of armed forces isn't it yes sir okay good naman uh, who will be the next speaker aradhya sir i hope aman me me i sir okay 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 aman okay go ahead okay hello good evening to all of you my name is aman today's my word is unmanned unmanned means manavheen and today's my topic is isro isro means indian space research organization the indian space research organization was the india national space agency yes it was founded by vikram sarabhai on 15 august 1969 yes and the headquarter of isro is bangalore india it operates under the department of space and which the was seen by the president of india and while the chairman of isro as the executive of department of space as well it is one of the sixth country it is one of the sixth uh, government space organized in the world yes which uh, possesses full launch capabilities deploy cryogenic engines uh, and uh, uh, cryogenic engine and launch uh, terrestrial missions and operates the uh, largest fleet yes operates the largest fleet in artificial satellites at the present time the chairman of isro is as somnath and the owner of isro is uh, department of space and government of india isro built the india's first satellite aryabhat uh, which was launched by the somnath union on 19 april 1975 yes 19 april 1975 uh, 1975 and uh, next in a few year in 1980 india launched satellite rs1 uh, on board on board its own uh, slv3 making india has the sixth country to be capable of undertaking uh, orbital launches yes orbital launches and orbital launches uh, it uh, yes orbital launches and uh, uh, slv uh, slv3 yes slv3 was followed by the aslv aslv uh, subsequently succeeding by development by the uh, many many um, many small small lift launch vehicles rocket engines satellite system and uh, uh, network enabling system, agency yes and next is isro isro has the world largest constellation remoting sensation yes sensation uh, of satellite yes and operate the two satellite navigation system firstly is gagan and secondly is navic it has do the two missions of moon and one missions of mars and india is the first country to successful our mars mission our first try and next is uh, isro 
इसरो नियर अवर फ्यूचर गोल्स यस लाइक लैंडिंग रोवर ऑन द मून सेंडिंग सेंडिंग ह्यूमंस इन द स्पेस एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सेमी क्राइजनिक इंजन एंड सेंडिंग अनमैंड सेटेलाइट अनमैंड सेटेलाइट ऑन मून मून मार्स विशन वीनस सॉरी वीनस एंड सन एंड डेवलपमेंट द एंड डेवलप एंड डेवलप द मोर टेलीस्कोप ओके टूडे माई टॉपिक वॉज एंड थैंक यू टू ऑल ऑफ यू ओके अमन गुड यू वॉज स्पीकिंग स्पॉन्टेनियसली गुड देर वॉज अ नेचुरल फ्लो वेन यू वॉज स्पीकिंग एंड लॉट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन यू गेव अबाउट इंडियन स्पेस रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इंडिया इज प्रोमिनंट and most faithful research organization and we can say most successful research organization isn't it yes sir uh in which standard you are studying uh my standard is class 8 okay and which school uh my school name is dr kaushal konant school in prayagraj okay so basically you are from uttar pradesh yes okay good aman good uh, lecture so without wasting time we will move ahead who will be the next speaker aradhya yes sir good evening all i am going to tell you about your country india is our country india is the seventh largest country in the world in terms of area it is situated in the south thumb part of asia india share it its boundary about bow, Countries with other countries such as China, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Pakistan, and Afghanistan, Maldives, and Sri Lanka are known as the Islamic. neighbors of india the palt or state separated sri lanka from india we has the magnificent himalaya uh, mountains range in the north uh, the india ocean in the south the arabian sea to the west and the bay of bengal to the east the lakshadweep in in island located in in the arabian sea and the andaman and the nirwal island in the bay of bengal are two groups of island that are also a part of india thank you okay aradhya good mm, you are in third standard na yes sir aradhya okay good india uh it's uh, what we can say and uh, what to tell about it it's a diverse country secular country and a uh, magnificent country india is uh, most uh, india is one of the secular country among its neighbors and also uh, we have many diplomatic and strategic relations um with uh, many other countries like usa russia israel uh, uh, germany france and uh, it it's been uh, 73 uh,
years and also uh, this year we have celebrating what azadi ka amrut mahotsav isn't it so it's a very honorable and proud moment for all of us that we have uh, complete we will be we will have completed 75 years of our independence isn't it yes sir yes and if you see our neighbors like pakistan so their democracy is running day by day in terms of everything we are uh, uh, very much uh, uh, rich we are not uh, means i am not comparison but the fact is fact bhai i have one question uh, uh yes just ask uh bhai as well as you say that uh, uh, i have a question the thing is that is any lent but in a future uh, maybe it is uh, going in a slip again uh no naman as far my knowledge goes there is no country but uh, there are means so uh, means if we uh, this if this thing will happen in future so definitely there will be uh, uh, means there will be sanctions uh, on that country from the uh, united nations and also uh, just um, if we see the myanmar our neighbor yeah myanmar is ruling uh, by the general of their uh, military isn't it yes sir and there is a sir, try uh, yes naman yes yes sir i tried to uh, find some information about uh, myanmar yes yes Uh, Myanmar is the uh, current uh, means uh, current example, and whatever is happening in Myanmar, whole world is uh, uh, watching that thing, and also um, the eyes of the whole world is uh, on uh, that is uh, Russia and Ukraine's uh, controversy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, sir. So once we have independence, once we have uh, declare our sovereignty. Uh, no country will uh, recapture us okay okay sir and this thing will happen the whole world will uh, uh, just uh, uh, will put the uh, sanctions on that country okay who will be the next speaker prabhat Yes, sir. Prabhat, just uh, tell your name and uh, state and standard. Go ahead. Okay, sir. My name is Prabhat Sukla. My name is Prabhat Sukla, and uh, I I am studying in class eighth. Uh, firstly, very very good evening to all of you. Today my topic is uh, child la labor. Labor. as you know the child labor is uh, the child labor is banned in our country the articles uh, the articles 24 uh, the articles 24 the child labor is not allowed in our country in a uh, in recent in recently i, I, I am telling what related in this topic uh, in in our real in my real life uh, recently i am going to hospital uh, hospital in ilahabad uh, here is one hospital the name is uh, the name the name is uh, the name is i i i don't know what is the name of this hospital if uh, the name is this hospital uh, x y z uh, and uh, i am going to i am back in our house uh, so i am looking uh, there was a uh, one boy are working uh, working in one stall 
दे आर क्लीन अपलेट्स एंड एंड डू वर्क हार्ड बट एज यू नो द चाइल्ड लेबर लेबर नेशन लेबर इज अ इज अ बैन इन अवर कंट्री बट बट हो सम सम टाइप ऑफ होटल्स एंड सम टाइप्स ऑफ ढाबा दे आर दे आर दे आर नो नो दे आर नो दे आर डोंट नो दे दे आर दे आर नो दे चाइल्ड लेबरेशन आर बैड बट दे बट दे आर नो फॉलो दे आर नो फॉलो दिस रूल एंड 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 दे आर दे आर दे आर दे आर अचीव वन बॉयज फॉर वर्किंग एज यू नो द पनिशमेंट ऑफ चाइल्ड लेबरेशन इन सिक्स मंथ ऑफ जेल एंड ट्वेंटी टू फोर ट्वेंटी टू फिफ्टी फिफ्टी थाउजेंड फिफ्टी थाउजेंड पे फिफ्टी थाउजेंड फिफ्टी थाउजेंड फिफ्टी थाउजेंड पे फॉर फॉर अ फॉर अ बेल ट्वेंटी टू फिफ्टी in in until that the child liberation is banned but some time before some time before means in the in the period of in the period of mahatma gandhi mahatma gandhi in in which time the child liberation is is not in is is not banned is not banned in this time uh, the people are uh, achieve one boy and uh, and get a get a occupation uh, and the boy uh, the boy are do work hard and uh, and study in this cases the government are apply one one articles uh, article 21 in this articles uh, in this articles the the stu- the boy are uh, study free 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 education in government school free education in government school in this time the the hotel the hotel many types of hotel are get a boys and and are many types of a hotel achieve a boys and and they are they are working in hotel and the police and the no police there was a one boy are working they were they they are coming in in here and asking to so the the boss of the boss of hotel they are saying there was a our there there was a our house house our house boys but as you know one one a मतलब the age of one to fourteen ना uh, any boy any child are not do in our our housework and a uh, another types of a work uh, and one age to eighteen age no any types of hazard hazard uh, occupation are doing uh, boy this is ban and uh, this is this is ban in sun nineteen eighty four I I hope. Thank you. Okay, Prabhat. Good. Mm, child labor is the uh, most uh, social uh, social problem uh, which we are facing nowadays. Uh, you gave very apt uh, example in the beginning of your lecture that in every hotel or daba. we can see there is a chotu who is serving to us whenever we uh, go to uh, for having our meal so there is a chotu who is under the uh, age of 16 years and work there work uh, hard for uh, getting some money so this should not be happen in india but but the fact is that or the ground situation is that 
this is rampant rampantly happening in many you know, many parts of our country this will this is the shame on us that we people hire um, child as a labor and if we see there are many industries like the diamond industry is there coal industry in which child is working for some amount of uh, money and ultimately their uh, future is in danger they cannot prosper in their life they cannot grow in their life their whole life will be mm, will 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 not prosper because of this thing so government not only government we people also should uh, careful about this thing when or we hire the this people and one bad thing is that uh, what i i have observed uh, means many literate people they hire the, uh, the child for their work means they always search that uh, <clears throat> the uh, uh, ch children who is below the under age of um, 14 or 16 age group for uh, doing uh, work in their uh, garden someone is hiring for the uh, for washing the cars and in their personal use so this should not happen in india so there are many laws to mitigate the child labor and also uh, one man is there uh, his name sir we are no we are no the Satyarthi. student the student are future future in our country but uh, but some people are not uh, means uh, there some people are not no are no this mm, yes in this yes, cases uh, in this cases they are uh, they are they are achieve a boys and do, doing uh, and uh, they are giving the work uh, work uh, for doing mm, yes prabhat yes uh, on the other hand we are saying that uh, children is the future of our country and we will be become super power because of only of that uh, means uh, them and on the uh, other hand the uh, rate of child labor is increasing so this should this should not happen so i was telling you that there was a, there is a man whose name is kailash satyarthi uh he founded many non government organizations to search the uh, uh, means children who are uh, working in hazardous industries and he worked for them in 2014 he was uh, honored with nobel prize nobel prize for peace isn't it so just uh, uh, write down somewhere in your uh, notes or in your diary whenever you uh, next time when we, uh, you will give lecture about this uh, topic so try to add uh, this thing also isn't it prabhat yes, sir yes and uh, uh, today is your first day no sir this is my sixth session and in okay. uh, in in this is my first session in your class okay that's why i ask you okay good your flow was also good but only thing is that uh, there was a, a humming sound uh, but otherwise it was good and uh, we could uh, understand you and uh, what uh, how you can overcome on this thing by doing regular practice isn't it okay sir so Uh, do regular do uh, regular sessions of uh, uh, this and also uh, apart from this practice you should also you can also uh, read newspapers in uh, loudly at your home so your pronunciation will be uh, smooth and polished isn't it okay sir otherwise you have uh, gave good data and it was a, a spontaneous uh, spontaneous lecture good so who will be the next speaker sir i can speak uh, who is there 
सर ओम ओके ओम गो हेड थैंक यू सर हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड इवनिंग टुडे आई एम टॉकिंग फियर अबाउट चाइल्ड लेवल चाइल्ड लेवल मींस द हम अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन हु हैव अ नॉट रीच ऑफ द लार्जर एज ऑफ द वर्किंग एनी चाइल्ड अंडर द 14 इयर्स वर्किंग एज लेवल एट द एनी वर्क प्लेस इज नो हैज द चाइल्ड लेवल चाइल्ड लेवल चाइल्ड लेवल इज mentally physical and social and the helpful to children um, artic article 24 of the uh, constitution of the india based child labor below the 14 years of age we we most uh, create war nest uh, amount peoples peoples and straight uh, आकर्षण शुड बी टेक अगेंस्ट द पीपल हु प्रोविड चाइल्ड लेबल वर्ल्ड ए अगेंस्ट चाइल्ड लेबल इज ऑब्जर्विंग ऑब्जर्विंग ऑन ट्वेल्थ जून एवरी एवरी एंड इट इज ऑल्सो नो एज अंटली लेबल डे चाइल्ड लेबल टेक अवे द ऑपॉर्चुनिटी टू स्टडी एंड grow of child uh, child level acts has a uh, varies to varies uh, to a country uh, functional functional or uh, social uh, growth thank you sir okay uh, another same topic child labor good om it was a uh, good lecture at it is almost 9 pm mm, who will be the next speaker anyone left sir i hope there is no any left okay okay so um okay suraj yes sir okay we should respect time also it is already 3 minutes past 9 i have just one observation and concluding remark there is a improvement those who are really paying attention working on it naman i see lot of improvement in you prabhat improvement is there but prabhat do loud reading just compare your pronunciation with the one who are doing it correctly you listen to the senior students lecture it in the same channel when you see your video go to senior students video okay prabhat yes sir yes you must see comparison so that you progress fast om krishna lot of improvement is required om is improving krishna i need more improve, improvement i don't know whether krishna is there or not Om, communicate to him. Okay. Okay. Uh, rest all is okay. Uh, in general, see again. I am saying, you are one of those rare students who are willing to do something, who wants to be something, aspiring to become a little better than others. That is why you are spending this voluntary time. Utilize this forum. every day you should polish yourself this is a value addition to your personality speak on different topics don't come with repetitive topics speak on different topics your knowledge will increase for life long you will be a very very learned person on many topics you can Your voice is not coming properly. Okay, okay, Samiksha. Now it is okay. You can yes, hear sir. me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so when you are preparing for different topics, you are preparing for your future. You will be appearing in civil services examination, defence examination, IIT, or you may be appearing in interviews. Or more than that, when you will be operating at different positions, 
with knowledge you will be empowered you will be a very very refined officer whichever department you go whichever position you hold and as a citizen also you will be a smart citizen a good communicator a leader like person so that is a larger aim so utilize this forum practice a smart topic practice your communication like for example today prabhat your camera was on but you were under stress you were not able to see whether you are visible in camera or not just review your today's performance <coughs> it will happen you are too small very very small you people are doing something which we could not do so you are already ahead of your time you are doing good but faster the better you never know today's video you will laugh at after 15 years you will say are main aise bolta tha abhi dekho you will be one of the greatest speaker that can be the possible scenario of tomorrow okay you can be a influential orator tomorrow you will be greatest inspirational figure around us but your journey has started it has started well in time you are ahead of your um, other friends that is a good thing about it but focus on your performances okay very good uh, already we have crossed our time uh, suraj over to you bye jai okay sir okay sir thank you so much sir so uh, let us uh, call it a day and we will meet tomorrow on the same time thank you so much guys and jai hind good night okay bhaiya jai hind jai hind bhaiya jai hind jai bharat jai hind jai bharat